Part of the onboarding process with Ascendix is being able to determine what fields exist within each object and how you'd like to modify these fields to better fit your business needs. Sometimes that involves adding new additional custom fields of your own or removing the ones that we have or even reordering them. And because there are so many tabs across the navigation bar and within each tab is its own form, it's easy to get confused or lock that information in ways that are inconsistent. Ascendix has made it easier for you by providing you a list of configuration forms in Microsoft Word. Within each form is an accountability or rather inventory of each field that exists within the record, the type of field it is, and your ability to just mark X if you wish to keep it or X if you wish to remove it. If you have additional fields or even headers or sections that you want to add, simply append them to the list. Example here is we go to accounts to create a new account. These fields are essentially the same thing that you're seeing here. For anything labeled pick list, which is another way of saying drop down, those fields are available at the end of the form. Again, you can remove or add your own pick list values as well. The related lists also show up on the right side of the form. So you've got contacts, deals, leases. These could also be modified in the sense that you could decide to remove some, add something if it's possible, or even define what data exists when you hover on each of them. This is the data we're referring to. Take a moment to review the configuration list to determine where your needs lie. One of the more common changes we've encountered is around the property. Property in and of itself may have upwards of 200 fields. And reviewing them at a glance, again, can be quite overwhelming. There may be a lot that you don't need or some areas of reduction or expansion or even reordering. You may use the property configuration form to determine what you wish to keep, remove, relabel, or again, decide what pick list values need to be adjusted.